Hello, my dear Glorians of Standard 10th and welcome to our English class. Today, we will begin with Unit 4.6, The Gift of the Magi by O. Henry, 1862-1895. William Sidney Porter, better known by his pen name, O. Henry, was an American short story writer. He was famous for his art and his stories, which had surprise endings. The Gift of the Magi is a story of an impoverished young couple who have no money yet wish to buy each other Christmas gifts. So let's get started with the lesson The Gift of the Magi. One dollar and eighty-seven cents. That was all. And sixty cents of it was in pennies. Now dollar, cents, pennies. These are monetary units used in various countries. Pennies saved one and two at a time by bulldozing, that is, pressurizing the grocer, that is, a dealer in usual household supplies, the vegetable man and the butcher, that is, a dealer in meat and meat-related products. Until one's cheeks burned, that is, felt embarrassed with the silent imputation, that is, associative action to some person, of parsimony, that is, unwillingness to spend money, that such close dealing implied. Three times Della counted it one dollar and eighty seven cents, and the next day would be Christmas. There was clearly nothing to do but flop down, that is, sit down awkwardly. On the shabby, that is, in a poor or worn out condition, little couch and howl, that is, a long doleful cry, usually uttered by an animal such as a dog or a wolf. So Della did it, which instigates, that is, provokes. The moral reflection, that is, examination of one's principles and ideals, that life is made up of sobs, that is, noisy cries, sniffles, that is, sniffing slightly because of a fit of crying, and smiles with sniffles predominating, while the mistress of the home is gradually subsiding from the first stage to the second, that is, her fit of crying is gradually becoming less. Take a look at the home. A furnished flat, 
that is an accommodation available to be rented with furniture at $8 per week it did not exactly beggar description but it certainly had that word on the lookout for the mendicancy squad that is police who arrest beggars and the homeless in the vestibule that is the hall or lobby next to the outer door of a building was a letter box into which no letter would go and an electric button from which no mortal finger that is human finger could coax or urge a ring that is the bell wasn't working also a pertaining that is concerning there unto was a card bearing the name mr james dillingham young the dillingham had been flung to the breeze during a former period of prosperity when its possessor was being paid $30 per week now when the income was shrunk to $20 though they were thinking seriously of contracting to a modest and unassuming that is simple and humble d instead of dillingham but whenever mr james dillingham young came home and reached his flat above he was called jim and greatly hugged by mrs james dillingham young already introduced to you as della which is all very good della finished her cry and attended to her cheeks with the powder rag that is a piece of old cloth in order to wipe off her tears and powder her cheeks she stood by the window and looked out dully that is in a manner that lacks interest at a gray cat walking a gray fence in a gray backyard now the color gray over here signifies dullness sadness and depression tomorrow would be christmas day and she had only 1 dollar 87 cents with which to buy jim a present she had been saving every penny she could for months with this result 20 dollars a week doesn't go far that is it is not sufficient to fulfill all the needs of a household expenses had been greater than she had calculated they always are only 1 dollar 87 cents to buy a present for jim her jim many a happy hour she had spent planning for something nice for him something fine and rare and sterling 
that is valuable or magnificent something just a little bit near to being worthy of the honor of being owned by jim there was a pier glass that is a mirror which is placed on a pier that is a wall between two windows supporting an upper structure between the windows of the room perhaps you have seen a pier glass in an 8 dollar flat a very thin and very agile that is quick and light footed person may by observing his reflection in a rapid sequence of longitudinal strips obtain a fairly accurate that is correct or precise conception of his looks della being slender that is gracefully thin or lean had mastered the art that is had become proficient enough suddenly she whirled that is turned round from the window and stood before the glass her eyes were shining brilliantly but her face had lost its color within 20 seconds rapidly that is quickly she pulled down her hair that is left her hair open and let it fall to its full length now there were two possessions that is belongings of james dillingham young in which they both took a mighty pride that is great pride one was jim's gold watch that had been his father's and his grandfather's the other was della's hair had the queen of sheba who is primarily known for her visit to king solomon to witness his wisdom lived in the flat across the air shaft that is a straight vertical passage admitting air into a building della would have let her hair hang out of the window some day to dry just to depreciate her majesty's that is the queen of sheba's jewels and gifts had king solomon who was a wealthy and wise king of israel been the janitor that is the caretaker or custodian with all his treasures piled up that is collected or gathered in the basement that is the floor of a building which is partly or entirely below ground level jim would have pulled out his watch every time he passed just to see him that is king solomon pluck at his beard from envy that is a feeling of resentment longing that he too could have that watch so now della's beautiful hair 
fell about her rippling and shining like a cascade that is a small waterfall of brown waters it reached below her knee and made itself almost a garment that is clothing for her and then she did it up again nervously and quickly that is she tied up her hair nervously and quickly once she faltered that is hesitated for a minute and stood still that is motionless while a tear or two splashed that is fell down on the worn red carpet on went her old brown jacket on went her old brown hat with a whirl of skirts and with the brilliant sparkle still in her eyes she fluttered that is danced or hovered out the door and down the stairs to the street where she stopped the sign red madame sofroni hair goods of all kinds one flight up della ran flight over here means stairway and collected herself panting that is breathing with short quick breaths madam large too white chilly that is unfriendly hardly looked the sofroni will you buy my hair asked della i buy hair said madam take your hat off and let's have a sight that is a look at the looks of it down rippled the brown cascade 20 dollars said madam lifting the mass mass over here refers to della's hair with a practiced hand that is an experienced hand give it to me quick said della oh and the next two hours tripped by on rosy wings that is went by trying to shop with much coolness and calmness forget the hashed metaphor that is the half hazard style or way in which she went about shopping she was ransacking that is searching thoroughly the stores for jim's present she found it at last it surely had been made for jim and no one else there was no other like it in any of the stores and she had turned all of them inside out that is basically searched all of the shops thoroughly it was a platinum fob chain platinum is a precious silvery white metal fob chain is a chain attached to a watch for carrying in a waistcoat simple and chaste that is simple and plain 
in design properly proclaiming its value by substance alone and not by meretricious ornamentation that is apparently attractive but having no real value as all good things should do it was even worthy of the watch as soon as she saw it she knew that it must be jim's it was like him quietness and value the description applied to both 21 dollars they took from her for it and she hurried home with the 87 cents with that chain on his watch jim might be properly anxious that is eager or keen about the time in any company any company over here refers to whosoever he may be with grand as the watch was he sometimes looked at it on the sly that is secretly on account of the old leather strap that he used in place of a chain when della reached home her intoxication gave way that is submitted or yielded a little to prudence and reason that is the quality of being wise and reasonable she got out her curling irons and lighted the gas and went to work repairing the ravages that is the destructive effects of something in this case the cutting of her hair made by generosity added to love which is always a tremendous that is very great amount of task dear friends a mammoth task that is a huge task within 40 minutes her head was covered with tiny close lying curls that made her look wonderfully like a truant schoolboy truant that is a pupil who stays away from school without leave or explanation she looked at her reflection in the mirror long carefully and critically that is in a way that expresses disapproval if jim doesn't kill me she said to herself before he takes a second look at me he'll say i look like a coney island chorus girl coney island is a famous amusement park in new york city and a chorus girl is a girl who is a part of a singing or dancing group and at that time they would untraditionally have short hair but what could i do oh? what could i do with a dollar and 87 cents at 7 o'clock the coffee was made and the frying pan was on the back of the stove hot and ready to cook the chops jim was never late della doubled the fob chain in her hand and sat 
on the corner of the table near the door that he always entered then she heard his step on the stair away down on the first flight and she turned white that is became pale for just a moment she had a habit of saying little silent prayer about the simplest everyday things and now she whispered that is spoke very softly please god make him think i am still pretty the door opened and jim stepped in and closed it he looked thin and very serious poor fellow he was only 22 and to be burdened with a family he needed a new overcoat that is jacket and he was without gloves jim stopped inside the door as immovable as a setter at the scent of quail it is a simile showing how dumbfounded he was when he entered the house his eyes were fixed upon della and there was an expression in them that she could not read and it terrified her that is scared her it was not anger nor surprise nor disapproval that is disagreement no horror nor any of the sentiments that is feelings or emotions that she had been prepared for he simply stared at her fixedly with that peculiar that is odd or strange expression on his face Della wriggled off the table that is moved away from the table and went for him Jim she cried don't look at me that way i had my hair cut off and sold because i couldn't have lived through christmas without giving you a present it'll grow out again you won't mind will you i just had to do it my hair grows awfully fast that is very fast say merry christmas jim and let's be happy you don't know what a nice what a beautiful nice gift i've got for you you've cut off your hair asked jim laboriously that is in a way that takes considerable time and effort as if he had not arrived at that patent that is obviousness of the fact yet even after the hardest mental labor cut it off and sold it said della don't you like me just as well anyhow i'm me without my hair ain't i jim looked about the room curiously that is eagerly you say your hair is gone he said with an air almost of idiocy that is foolishness you needn't look for it said della 
it's sold i tell you sold and gone too it's christmas eve boy be good to me for it went for you maybe the hairs of my head were numbered that is it was high time to probably cut it off she went on with sudden serious sweetness but nobody could ever count my love for you shall i put the chops on jim out of his trance that is half conscious state jim seemed quickly to wake for 10 seconds let us regard with discreet scrutiny that is wisely some inconsequential that is unimportant object in the other direction Eight dollars a week, or a million a year. What is the difference? A mathematician, or a wit, would give you the wrong answer. The Magi brought valuable gifts, but that was not among them. the majai over here refer to the wise men this dark assertion will be illuminated later on that is this unknown declaration will be revealed later jim drew a package from his overcoat pocket and threw it upon the table Don't make any mistake del he said about me that is his behavior i don't think there's anything in the way of a haircut or a shave or a shampoo that could make me like my girl any less but if you'll unwrap that package you may see why you had me going a while at first that is you will realize why i was standing dumbfounded a while ago white fingers and nimble which refer to fear and agility tore at the string and paper that is open the gift and then an ecstatic scream of joy that is an overwhelmed feeling of joy and then alas a quick feminine change to hysterical tears and wails that is uncontrollable cries necessitating the immediate employment of all the comforting powers of the lord of the flat for there lay the combs the set of combs side and back that della had worshiped long in a broadway window while doing window shopping beautiful combs pure tortoise shell with jeweled rims just the shade that is the color to wear in the beautiful vanished that is disappeared hair they were expensive combs she knew and her heart had simply craved and yearned that is desired over them without the least hope of possession and now they were hers but the tresses that is the long lock of her 
hair that should have adorned that is enhanced the coveted the much sought after adornments were gone that is she didn't have her beautiful hair in which she could use those combs to adorn them but she hugged them to her bosom that is chest and at length she was able to look up with dim eyes and a smile and say my hair grows so fast jim and then della leaped up that is stood up very quickly like a little singed cat and cried oh oh jim had not yet seen his beautiful present she held it out to him eagerly upon her open palm the dull precious metal seemed to flash with a reflection of her bright and ardent spirit that is her spirit of enthusiasm and zealousness isn't it a dandy jim dandy that is a trendy thing jim i hunted all over town to find it you'll have to look at the time a hundred times a day now give me your watch i want to see how it looks on it instead of obeying jim tumbled down on the couch and put his hands under the back of his head and smiled dell said he let's put our christmas presents away and keep them a while they are too nice to use just at present I sold the watch to get the money to buy your combs and now suppose you put the chops on that is he is casually instructing her to lay dinner the magi as you know now the magi that is the blip, biblical magi also referred to as the wise men or kings who visited jesus after his birth bearing gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh were wise men wonderfully wise men who brought gifts to the babe in the manger they invented the art of giving christmas presents being wise their gifts were no doubt wise ones possibly bearing the privilege of exchange in case of duplication and here i have lamely that is without any confidence related to you the uneventful chronicle that is a record or narrative description of past events of two foolish children in a flat who most unwisely sacrificed for each other the greatest treasures that is precious or valuable objects of their house but in a last word to the wise of these days that is current times let it be said that of all who give gifts these two were the wisest of all who give and receive gifts such as they are wisest everywhere they are wisest they are the magi 
and why so because the actual gift that they exchanged with each other in order to celebrate the season of christmas was love and sacrifice which they readily made for each other with christmas season being round the corner faith makes all things possible hope makes all things work love and sacrifice as put in by della and jim make all things beautiful may you my dear glorians have all of these this christmas season and ever after with that we complete with today's session until we meet again stay safe stay healthy thank you and have a day filled with fond memories of the past and fonder memories to be built for the future